Tonight we have an alert for anyone who may be getting married soon. A local wedding planner has abruptly closed her business, leaving at least one bride to be without a place to hold her wedding. And this isn't the first time something like this has happened. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest has been looking into this company for months now. Mike, more people claim they've been ripped off by this wedding planner. Matt, I've received several calls from people recently who claim that she owes them thousands of dollars. We first told you about Angela Cordry back in November. At the time, the wedding planner had just begun operating the banquet hall inside the Ocala National Golf Course, renaming it Savannah's Grand Ballroom. But earlier this month, the golf course owners began the process of evicting Cordry. They say she hasn't paid her rent there for six months. Then, just last week, the state shut down Savannah's after finding live cockroaches in the kitchen. Now it appears that the wedding planner has abandoned that facility. We've already heard from one bride-to-be with an upcoming wedding at Savannah's who wants her $1,500 deposit deposit back, but claims she now cannot reach Angela Cordry. Back in November, another bride told us the wedding planner ripped her off. I just don't want any other bride to go through what I've went through because it's really tough. It's really stressful. Hey, I'm Mike with Channel 6. Been trying to get in touch with you. I want to talk to you about one of your uh, brides. Turn the cameras off and you need to leave. As you can see, Angela Cordry kicked us out of her business last year after ignoring my phone calls and emails. She has not returned any of my messages today either. Now, I plan to keep following this and would be interested to hear from anyone else who may have upcoming events scheduled at Savannah's Grand Ballroom. Matt and Lisa. All right, Mike DeForest, thank you.